Okay, good day everyone. Thank you for having me here. Katara makapamati naman sa musang inyo nga topic regarding sa anatomy and physiology of farm animals which is in relation sa aton nga subject. So let's proceed sa next system, di ba? Nag-discuss na ta sa integumentary, sa skeletal. And then now let's proceed to muscular system. So by the name itself, muscular, it pertains to the muscles of the animal. So in here, we're going to discuss the basic concepts of the muscular system of animals. So ang mga details, hindi na kahit na tackle dara, let's just discuss the basics lang. So before ko mag-start sa kong discussion proper, I have some questions to you. So proceed to the next slide. Okay. Okay, that's it. So pop up question: What do you call the tissue that connects two bones together? Anyone? Okay, five, four, three, two. Okay, hopefully na gets niyo yung answer. The correct answer is ligament. So next question: What do you call the tissue that connects the bone and muscle together? So the first question: What do you call the tissue that connects two bone to muscle connection? Okay, what is your answer? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Okay, so for the correct answer is tendon. So hopefully nga may idea na kamo sa mga previous videos na gin discuss na ako and then also sa mga supplementary videos na ipang post na ako sa ato nga GC. So let's proceed sa discussion proper as we can see. No muscular system pertains to muscles, and of course, muscle has different types. And essentially, there are three types of muscles: the skeletal muscle, the smooth, and the cardiac. So, skeleton. The majority of them are, or mostly of them, or all of them, is attached to skeletal muscle or to bones. Next is the smooth muscle, which are usually found in some internal organs, and the cardiac muscle. Within itself, cardiac, so it pertains to the muscles of the heart. So, what are their features? So sa you can okay makita niyo siguro ang red button. So as you can see, the skeletal muscle fibers is striated, meaning may mga stripe stripe, tubular in shape and multinucleated. So amo ni siya ang histology sa skeletal muscle. So balik striated, tubular and multinucleated. So by in terms of voluntary or involuntary The skeletal muscle is voluntary, meaning kinahanglan pa na sa imong uh, will para nga mag-move ang imong uh, skeletal muscle. So especially, bisan mag-tanaw ka din, mag sa imong cellphone or sa imong laptop. While gapamati sa akong lecture, you are using your muscles of the hand. So that's the example. And then, yes, as I said, usually attached to the skeleton. So as you can see here in the actual histology, so makita ninyo ang aring mga blue na area that is actually the nucleus of the skeletal muscles. As you can see, damo siya ang nucleus in one skeletal muscle cell. So amuna siya. Next is the smooth muscle. So in terms of fibers, they are non-striated. Instead, they are spindle-shaped. Kung, kung wala kong wala ko spindle-shaped, daw dahon sa mangga kung ano iyang uh, shape sa so smooth muscle and uninucleated so isa lang ang cells sa isa ka mas ah, what I mean is isa lang ka nucleus sa isa ka cell unlike sa skeletal muscle is damo nucleus sa isa ka cell and then they act involuntarily so they have their own so they have their own will of course especially sa especially nga pang sa mga internal organs So as you can expect, our internal organs are moving at their own way according sa physiologic response ng atong lawas. So muna siya, especially during digestion. Example, galing dito kayo, smooth muscle is usually found in the digestive system. So ang way of contraction, pagkuha sang, o pag-apart sang pagkaon, halin sa bibig, pagkato sa rectum. So ang ga-regulate sina sang movement is of course the smooth muscle. One example lang niya, that nasit minga aral lang siya sa digestive system or sa GI tract, damo pa na siya ng mga systems na involved aside sa muna. And then, so G of the smooth muscle. Lastly is the cardiac muscle. So, in terms of fibers, same with skeletal muscle, they are striated branch and uninucleated. So, take nita, uninucleated si cardiac muscle despite na striated. And then, involuntary. So, as you can see, you cannot have your own will nga kamo mismo pump sa heart nyo. So, of course, ga-regulate man siya sang aton nga circulation so it needs to be involuntary ga follow na siya according sa aton physiologic response so take note only covers the walls of the heart 
So by the name itself, cardiac muscle, so heart lang yung nakikipan. And as you can see, fibers sa cardiac same, except nga gabranching siya. So amo na siyang iyang histology. So next slide. Okay. Now let's proceed sa skeletal muscle. Of course, ang sa heart later na nato na i-discuss sa cardiovascular system. So let's focus on dali sa mga skeletal muscle or sa general concept of muscular system. So there are different types of muscles according to their orientation sa atong lawas. So they can be strap muscle or having parallel fibers, unipennate, one way, bipennate, two ways, and multipennate. So amo ni siya ang arrangement sa different arrangement of skeletal muscle fibers. So in assignment, if you are actually watching this, I am giving you an assignment and then i-post lang or i-PM lang sa akon. Give one example of muscle nga may parallel fibers, uniform, unipennate, bipennate, multipennate. So it will serve as your bonus. Okay? Next. Let's talk about the structural features of the skeletal muscle. Of course, as you can see, dito sa microscopic view or sa histological view, hindi lang yung siling uh, ano, comprise of one cell. Actually, it is a bundle. So take note sa isa ka muscle bundle. There is comprised of one oh, muscle bundle. One na sa isa ka muscle, may mga muscle bundles, naging bundle man. And then one muscle bundles comprised of many muscle fascicle or myofascicle. Next, a cell. And then one myofiber or muscle fiber is composed of a lot of myofibril. So, tama na siya. And, so, amun na siya ka-complicated ang muscle cell. Nagkakaon na kamukar ni, pero kahibaw sa histology. So, hopefully na-appreciate ninyo ang histology or ang our artistic diagram sa sin. For the details, namun niya siya, ang makin anato, or what I mean is, muscle fascicle niya. So here, as a specific reason nga, ang nabutang da sila, but kung gusto niyo nga matunan, ginang further details, you can watch, i-recommend na ako ng mga set of videos sa following slides, especially ang Khan Academy, damong hindi sila may madiscuss. Okay, so isa ka muscle fiber, so namun niya, yun, nga pwede natin i-familiarize. Kaya importante na, especially when studying the histological features of the skeletal muscle. So you can see, there is a Z-lines. Take note, the attachment of two Z-lines. And take note, the uh, distance between two Z-lines, ang collecting term ana is sarcomere. And then, ang thick filaments is the myosin, and the thin filaments is to this, so letter B, so sarcomere na siya. And then, the group where the myosin is attached is A-band. And then, atong mga walay ano pa, overlap sang myosin, that is the I-band. And then in between the myosin filaments, di ba kasi kung sino yung masamot black space, the pink. And then the darker pink, that is the M-line. So, I am requiring you to familiarize this, especially, kung gusto, especially when comparing these regions during muscle contraction and muscle relaxation. So, that means what I overlap sa myosin, A-band, kung di inabot ng si myosin, Z-line, this one, attachment of two, um, distance between them or scope na is the sarcomere. So, M-line. Okay? Hopefully, na gets niya. Okay, let's compare the said station. So, the image above shows the, the gap of the H-band or gap. So, ito nga is the ASPA, whereas ang I-band, so, sa mga using filaments. So, what is the difference between the relaxed and the contracted muscle? So, as you can see, the H-band from here, nan, ni gamay siya. But the M-line remains constant. So, as sa i -band. Dari siya, kita mo wala na siya mayusin. So expect ni mo na ano, nag-lipot or nigamay. So amo na siyang nagkatabo during muscle contraction. Pero sa A-band, itungod kung pwes man siya sa origin siya kung di ina-align ang mayusin filler, of course, expected. Ga-gamay. So take note, during contraction sa si A-band, nigamay si sarcomere, steady si M-line. So hopefully nga na, follow na ninyo. Okay, let's proceed sa next slide. Okay. So, sa skeletal muscle details, we already know the basic physiology of muscle contraction. May further molecular details pa na siya sa video nga i-provide ako sa inyo sa GC. So, let's proceed na sa skeletal muscle details. Of course, sa skeletal muscle, may mga attachments sila sila. And there are specific terms kung paano mo sila ma-identify ang muna ng muscle. So, they are, categorize this, the origin the most proximal attachment. So what do we mean when we say proximal attachment? Anyone? So, of course, itong ginahamba ko last time, the most proximal attachment is ang mas lapit sa median line. So, i-compare na ito na rin, amun na siyang origin. And then the insertion, the most distal attachment. So, expected na kung may muscle ka sa imokamot, isang po lang ay picture up yung sa inyong mind. Kung may muscle ka nag-attach between sa imo elbow 
And then sa imo nga kamot, expect ka na nga ang origin is ang dito sa elbow sa part. And then ang insertion is ang sa phalanges or sa imo nga hand nga part. So with the name itself, proxima, so pinakalapit sa median line. And then kung sa insertion, ang most distal attachment. So ano siya. And then what action does it produce? So ano ang movement? Because different muscle has different course of action. Hindi man na siling na mararamanag, na mararag notaw, na lantang guling, ibig sabi unsan na lang lihok, pwede. Ang muscle may definite din na siya ng action. So inyumayit lang ako na later kung ano mga possible action. And then innervation. Take note, muscle will not automatically move itself without the innervation or without the aid of nerve cell. Kaya ang nerve cell man na siya ang ma-stimulate ng action potential. Oh, sorry for the spelling. Innervation na siya may tinadirect. So ang nerve itself mag-create creates ng action potential. Yung una, kaya once mag-stimulate na siya, that's the time na ang muscle may sumusunod lang po na o ka-respond according sa ginhambal sang nerves or sang aton na lawas or sang lawas sang animal. Okay? Okay, function. Amulay, amulay siya ang function sa muscular system. Source of protein as meat. Of course, in a field of agriculture, ang say purpose sa muscle, and on man. So, lami ang karne, tungkol na sa lami ang muscle. Especially sa laawas ng animal, hindi man sila kalihok kung walay muscle. And then, ang strength nila, according man mismo sa strength. Again, except in the point glass. So, ato mga involuntary muscle, example, isang sa gastrointestinal tract, halin sa bibig, paano na ato sa lubot? Through the aid of muscle. Responsible for uterine motility. Of course, kang mga anak ang isa ka animal of course ang uterus niya is mag contract and what organ responsible for that contraction of course the muscle aid in expelling fetus just like i said causes contraction of the heart yes by the aid of cardiac muscle regulates blood vessel has muscle kasi syempre tinga mo nga high blood and low blood pressure sa tao same lang man sa principle sa animals tungod nga ginapagamay nila or ginapadako ang diameter sa mga blood vessel Okay, so if you want to further do this, or for further learning, pwede nyo gini siya matan out. So take note, Khan Academy, K-H-A-N. Wala akong ibayaran sa Khan Academy. Ang ako lang is nami lagi sila patuloy. Tingnan, muscle action. So there are different. Flexor, extensor, abductor, adductor. It's a flexor, i-flex. So magamay ang anggol. So kung gusto mo magpakita sa imong biceps, sa imong crush, so ginaano mo imong kamot, gina-flex. So... So, extend so sorry by name so extend so i extend o oh, inyat to nimo ang imong lawas so man sa extend or sa kamot i taas ang angle abductor by the name itself gina pakato mo si midline adductor the opposite of abductor levator gina alsa depressor ang padalong and then ang atong lubot usaw na ka kung ganahan ka malibang diretso lang pud nagigit so amo na siya Okay, then, and the next topic na ton sa next video will be nervous system. So that's it. Thank you.